Hey buddy, it's for new start with another tutorial on how to do oops, basically next level material. So we got level one, now we're doing level two. So how do we do that? Well, the thing is to basically click right on layout and add layout and add event sheet. So you, every layout will have its own event sheet. This is my next layer or the next level, so level two or layer five. So we basically, I copied everything over from the previous level, which would be the uh, score counter, the timer. This is new. This is copied over, that's copied over. These guys, the enemies are copied over, but we'll probably add more. So I'm gonna add more, oops. just for the fun of it. But we also want to make sure that we're there in layers. Remember, I pro previously talked about layers, so we're going to be talking about layers in this tutorial. So uh, making sure that, okay, whatever layer you pre have collected or clicked on, that's where your uh, items are going to be. Like when you collect a new one, it's saying, oh, you have you know, layer one selected. We'll put it that, but you may not want it there. So my enemies are in layer one player slash enemy, and these aren't because I just copied and pasted them in while the um, background was selected. So I'm gonna move them over. Okay, one moment. I gotta. Okay, so I have to select those guys, and I have to move them over to player. There we go. Now they're in the right level. And so let's go over the basics of the code. Really, nothing is, it's not, it's not too advanced, but you do have to make sure that, you know, you are keeping track with everything. So basically, I inputted level one, two, three, four. Uh, three and four haven't been implemented yet because we're doing that in steps. So level two. It's basically uh, put in insert new object, insert sprite, and then what you do with that is that you say, okay, every time, so we have a level one click button, then we have a level two click button, but here's the catcher. Level one will always be unlocked, and this is, you know, the next step, which I was also going to implement, was locked levels. No, you can go to level one. Sure, that's unlocked always. Level two, three, and four, though, will be locked due to the fact that you haven't unlocked level one. Now, as soon as you unlock level one, you have to un you on un level two will be unlocked, and as soon as you finish level two, level three will be unlocked, and so on, so forth. So okay, so it's basically level one is always unlocked, but as soon as Enemies dead. Now remember, this is taking from the score counter. Remember when um, our text indicator saying, "Okay, what's your score?" Oh, you scored 15. As soon as you do that, you have a. Uh, this is a global system. This is uh, you click on system, and then you basically click on compare variable. And so we're comparing enemies dead with, okay, is it equal to what? It's equal to 15. Now 15, remember, is the max amount of points that you can get or score that you can get in the first level. There's only three enemies, and they're only worth five points each of 15. As soon as you've gained 15, all right, um, you know, you can, enemies, it's unlocked. But if it's not unlocked, then basically we'll have another button. So basically copy this button and then put here, but delete all this code, except for go to layout. It will basically copy it, delete all the code, and say, okay, because enemies did is less than 15, all you do is go out to layout two. So we're just reloading layout two again and again and again and again. And then again, it's also, remember on uh, level one, next to level one button, is the text button or the text 
basically all we're doing at that point is saying, okay, on start of layout system set score two. Now remember, when we copied everything over, so we copied everything from layout three, I selected everything and all I did was drag and drop it over here and then change the background. What that did was it, it duplicated everything. And so what it, that meant was that, um, let me get back to code, is that it says, oh, okay, you have another item called score loader. Because we, remember we have score loader one, score loader two. It's now gonna say, okay, I'll just replace the one with the two and you're good. So you have to actually make sure that pretty much all your code is gonna be written for you for the most part. All you have to do is then say, okay, I'm going to duplicate this, but on start of layout, instead of saying score loader 1, I'm going to say score loader 2, but also because we're now going to enemies did 2, instead of enemy did 1, you know, remember, go back, to, if you didn't watch that video, or you're not really understanding it a whole lot, it's go back to that video where we implemented enemies did, and watch it, and then you'll understand, okay, enemies did 2 keeps track of the second level material. Every time we kill somebody from level two, that information is sent to a variable called enemies dead two instead of enemies dead one. And then from there, we have now score loader two. Remember, right, the same thing with score loader one. It keeps track of enemies dead. So set score loader one to enemies did. So whatever score enemies did is, score loader one will do that. Will you know say will project what the uh, what your score is. Same thing with score loader two. It is copies anything from enemies did to from level two, and implements it in the score loader two. Now that means because score loader two is also in it's right here. So basically all you're gonna do. Is you're gonna copy and paste another score loader if you don't have one and this should be in your level layout so that means okay they're both gonna be set to zero these ample we're gonna have one of these for every single layer and that layer but level which is also a layer so they keep track of every single uh, levels um, uh, score counting so it's basically archiving it so once you set text to scroll loader two, we're pretty much good. Um, except remember we said that we wanted to lock uh, the uh, level in case you say you scored five points instead of 15 points. Well, you can't move on to level two. So what we do is we have a sprite and I have to name the sprite because I haven't named it yet, but it's just this very simple two animations one is just one frame and then the other is just one frame but one has a locked and one has an unlocked so if enemies did equals 15 so that's going into uh, system compare variable enemies did so we're comparing level one stats so if enemies did is equal to 15 set animation remember you're gonna have to click on the blue sprite so uh we go here and i got a lot of blue so i'm gonna sprite 11 or you could just name it unlocker and set it to unlocked with quotations set it from beginning now if enemies did is less than 15 set animation to locked that means that you cannot access it and then that's just, that's just the sprite animation for what we did up here. If enemy state is less than 15, you just load layout 2, which is the level um, layout. But if it's equal to, then you set in it, then you go into layout 5, which is the next level. And that is it. Um, except for we're going to indicate now that is just the basics of copying level uh, level one into level two with minimal coding now we're gonna deal with bonus enemies which is basically this sprite right here 
uh, this little blue sprite sprite i'll delete it later so you can't see it but i wanted to see it i wanted you guys to see it so it's basically going to spawn this guy right here this red enemy right here so what we're going to do with that guy is okay red enemies i put these little yellow indicators and it's really good that you guys too you guys do it too so you click right and you go add comment so you can keep track of what certain things are and what they do so red enemies enemies uh so okay choose from variable so enemies did two so again this is keeping track of uh enemies did two basically what's happening in that level um i was having some issue with is equal to 15 so i said okay it it's greater than 14 and remember if it's greater than 14 it's usually 15 or beyond so enemies did two greater than 14 remember we get to kill all three of these um for you guys so let's delete those so you kill him 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 this starts spawning bonus enemies that you can shoot so sprite spawn red enemy on layer one so layer one is where all the play is where the players and where the enemies are and so i said okay enemies did two greater than 14 so it's indicating it's waiting saying okay oh he's hit 15 uh points we're gonna start spawning red enemies but you don't want it just shooting out like a machine gun i mean this thing will layer will totally this start gooing red enemies all over your page so what you do is you click right and you say add another condition and then your your other condition is every three seconds so every three seconds and as long as enemies did two is higher than 14 which it's always going to be after you kill the three enemies uh the three uh purple enemies is that it will spawn red enemies now on created red enemies uh on so once the enemy's created set his bullet speed to 40. so what we're going to do is double click on this guy well not double click but click on him and then click on behaviors and set in the bullet okay and it's, it says the speed is 400 here but once you actually code it into here it disables it here So what you should then have is also uh, click here, click on what's going to be spawning the enemy, and to add some variance so your enemy got you, so your players aren't just earning a whole bunch of points, is put scene or sign or whatever, and put movement to horizontal, period 4, magnitude 60, activation on start, yes. So what happens is that he has to shoot these all these enemies. So we got 15 points now. I gotta shoot him. I gotta shoot him. And I shoot him and I get 45 points. That's basically the limit on how many points you can get. It says locked because I haven't gone to the first one. I just instantly played the second level. So you can ignore that. But that's basically how it's gonna work. Um, the next one is shooting and I decided that needed its own independent little video because um, we're basically gonna also put in I'm not going to allow the red guys to shoot, but in this the second level, I'm going to set these purple guys to shoot uh, red, not red, yeah, red lasers, because you're shooting green lasers. Um, and they'll shoot every four seconds, so every time, you know, they shoot, you got to dodge their shots and then shoot back at them. And then in the next level, we're going to do it to where... Um, you have to kill so many enemies and then your timer's disabled and you gotta deal with a boss level. So hopefully guys you enjoyed this video tutorial. I'll keep them short so you guys can understand it. I'll un upload the video and I'll upload the video real soon and then I'll upload the uh, game file so you guys can go over it and ask me questions. Also guys, in annotations there's gonna be an email. I set up a um, uh, a new email account so you guys can email me questions and then we can I can answer them 
on um, other video tutorials or set up a dedicated answering video every couple of weeks to where I answer group questions or something like that. Also guys, if you want a specialized video tutorial, I can do that too. It doesn't have to be in a series. I can just, you know, put a specific video up for one of your questions. If you are having trouble with creating a certain video game. Um, again, guys, thanks for viewing the video. Hit the like button if you did and put suggestions and comments down below whether you liked it or not and what I should improve on or what I should do next. So thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching.